to this jazz guitar licks lesson. In today's lesson I've got a major jazz guitar lick that I'd like to show you. Um, this lick is going to be in the key of E major and it's kind of um, a pentatonic -y, um legato style line so even though it's in E major we're using a lot of notes from the C major pentatonic so you could easily apply this line over um, a C sharp minor 7 for example. So um, the scale which we're going to be using to start this line is um, the E major pentatonic and this is uh, the position that we're going to be using for that so um, it sounds like this. <laughs> It's just a box position, right? If you guys know your kind of box positions for the um, minor pentatonic scales, then that should be quite familiar. There, it's, you've got your main box position if you're in the key of A minor, um, and then it's the kind of the one before that which starts in the seventh degree of the scale. So, box position for C sharp minor pentatonic is there, and then the one before it. So that's kind of what it starts with. All right, so. Um, just so you can kind of hear the line slow. So you're just really going up the scale but using um, a legato technique there. So I'm starting on E note, the seventh fret of the A string, hammering on to F sharp, my third finger, and then I'm just continuing going up the scale with that same technique. I'm picking once on the A string. And then it's a, a buy one get one free with notes, you pick one and you get one free. So you pick one note and then hammer on to get the next note in the scale. Then I'm switching to using my um, first and fourth finger for the notes which have got um, a four fret span there. So when I've got a three fret span I'm using fingers one and three. And then for a four fret span I'm using fingers one and four. So. And then just to give the lick, um, the first half of the lick a sense of conclusion, I finish on the, uh, the E note there in the 12th fret of the um, top E string. And I just um, <coughs> move my third finger up to get that note there. So that's the first half of the lick, so I'll just play it slow one more time. And then we're going to kind of a bluesy idea. So there I'm just hitting the B note, 7th fret of the um, high E string, then going to the 9th note, again hammering on, again notes from the scale, then I'm bending up the G on the 8th fret of the B string, <coughs> a half step to get a G sharp, which is just kind of a bluesy idea. And then I'm going from the um, A note on the 7th um, fret of the D string, hammering on to the B note. And then I'm falling back to get G sharp, which is the third of the chord. So finishing um, with that idea just kind of gives it um, a bluesy, kind of a conclusive feel. Really, um, I seem to, I can never go too long without playing some element of blues in, in my guitar playing, and um, that's why I like to add this in the second half of this lick. So anyway, the entire lick played slow. So it's not really um, you know, the hardest lick in the world, but I think it's really good if you're um, wanting to get into this legato style of playing, which I really recommend, especially if you like players such as Jim Mullen or Alan Holdsworth or even Kurt Rosenwinkel and Eric Johnson. They use um, a lot of this legato style playing, and it's um, a really good way to start with this playing because it's basically a two-note per string pattern, whereas if you start with kind of the major scales or whatever, they tend to be three-note per string, and if you're kind of new to legato playing, it, um, I think it makes sense to start with two note per string scales and then build up to three or four note per string scales. So um, hopefully this lick will be a good kind of little um, insight if you're into those players in that style. So 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, Jazz Catalyst lesson. If you did enjoy it, I'd really pre appreciate it if you could click the like button below. I'd also really appreciate it if you could subscribe to this channel. Um, it'll really help me out and um, you'll get free access to all the brand new Jazz and Blues Guitar lessons which I um, post here on YouTube. And um, if you like these licks um, on this channel, I do have a full ebook called 50 Essential Jazz Guitar Licks which contains um, PDF notation and tab uh, mp3 examples and backing tracks and etudes um, and it's kind of like a full comprehensive study of all these licks I know that these YouTube lessons are kind of like they might seem like a lick here and there but um, this is more of a concrete kind of program which will really um, help you build up your jazz guitar language so anyway um, thanks again for checking out the lesson and um, I'll see you next time cheers <laughs>